So now it's time to train our chatbot to respond to the user. And this is very, very important because this uh, is working with AI. This is working with artificial intelligence and you need to understand this so now this ch this chatbot is ready to to be used to uh, start a con conversation with the user and respond to the user and in order to make the the uh, chatbot functional we need to train it we need to kind of teach it so I'm gonna say here uh, I'm gonna first uh, create an array called list of list uh, list to train let me let me call it list to train which is going to be, which is going to be an array, and you need to understand the structure of this array. So this array is going to be is, is going to contain what we want to teach the chatbot on. So the structure of this array or this list must, uh, first of all, this this array must have an even number of uh, elements because each sim each single element and the next. Uh, well, would represent the question and the answer. So for example here if we have four elements in this list, the first the first element the first element should represent the question that the user might ask the chatbot or the statement that the user might say. The second element should represent the answer or response that this, the chatbot is going to send to the user. So this is the structure of this array. So this array must have a, an even number of elements because if you don't, uh, if you don't, uh, if you don't set uh, a uh, an even number uh, of the to this uh, to this array, what would happen is that one one as one question would have no answer at all, and and the chatbot would would not be able to answer and respond to the user with the possible question. So again, uh, each single uh, odd number in the array would represent a question and uh, any even number represents an answer. So here the, the first element should be should be something like uh, uh, something that the user might ask or something that the user might say. For example, the user might say hi and then the second element should represent the answer from the chatbot it should represent the response so I'm going to say hi there for example and then the third element should represent a statement or question from the user it could be what's your name and the fourth element should represent the uh, response or answer so it could be I am just a chat bot and then you can add more elements, more questions or statements and answers. So, by the way, the the the, the here they shouldn't be questions all the time. So the user might say anything. It could be something silly, even it doesn't matter. But the point is that the 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 odd numbers are statements or questions or uh, texts that the user might send, and uh, odd num and even numbers are the. Uh, represent the uh, responses from the chatbot. So here, uh, let's say that the user would say, "What is your fave food?" And then the the chatbot could say, "I like cheese." Something like this. So now that we have this array, we need to train the chatbot. With this, with these possible questions or statements and answers, so that the chatbot knows what to respond with, and to do that, we need to use the list trainer. So remember, I, this is why I, I imported the list trainer. The list trainer is going to take a list, and uh, that, and then it's going to train the chatbot to respond with these answer uh, questions and answers. So. We need to create a an object of the list trainer, and the list trainer should take the bot should take the bot uh, object, and then it should be stored in a variable, any variable you want. Let's name it list trainer. So the list trainer is going to be equal to list trainer, and it takes the bot object. Next, we want to use the list trainer list list trainer, and then we need to call a function called train, which is going to train 
the chatbot with these responses. So this train function is going to take this list. It's going to take the list, list to train, list to train. And now we are good to go. Now what we need to do is that we need to run our uh, our um, uh, Django application. So we need to open up the the terminal, and as you can see, what's going to happen is that this this is going to have this is going to be displayed in the in in the terminal, and it represents what exactly the chatbot is going to do, or what exactly the script is going to do here. What's going to do is that it's going to take the list and it's going to train the trainer, and here it it indicates uh, the time uh, or or the percentage. Uh, remaining to finish training the chatbot and here it says 100% which means that the chatbot has been trained successfully and since it's very important to understand this since this array is very short training is going to take a very short time as you can see it took like three seconds or so but if this list is big usually this list uh, would be very very big if you want to create a a, a, a uh, a big chatbot that that uh, a lot of users are going to use. You need to, of course, fill it, fill this array array with many many questions and answers. And in order to train it, it's going to take some time. So let me here run one more time. Let me close down this and let me run the the terminal one more time to show you what's going to happen again. So let me here type Python three manage uh, dot py run server. And if I hit enter, I want you to pay attention to what's going to happen here. Now what's going to happen is that the chatbot uh, will be trained. So as you can see here, something is going to happen shortly. So as you can see, it says here list trainer, and it it trained it trained the chatbot so quickly, very very quickly, and now the chatbot has been trained successfully.